All right, guys. All right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to post this here in just a few minutes. Um, first, we're going to go over a few things. Welcome back. Welcome back. I haven't posted anything in a minute, but we may be back. All right. Hyaluronic acid is the first thing that I'd like to share with you. Hyaluron Hyaluronic acid helps to lubricate your skin and joints. Um, it's a natural occurring uh, thing in our bodies and it does decrease as we age so um, it may be a benefit to you it's really um, something in the the uh, upkeep world for skin eyes and tissue um, it also is good for lubricating our connective tissue at our joints um, I don't know I found it uh, through tonic um, pretty inexpensive and I'll try to share that link with you in the description box below remember if you like this video please like share and subscribe um, so I just wanted to put that out there uh, has a, it has a variety of uses many people take it as a supple, supplement which I am doing currently um, it's been pretty good and useful to my skin eyes and tissue um, but it's also used in topical serums, eye drops, and injections. For the lady folk that go to the spas, um, there are scientifically uh, backed benefits of taking hyaluronic acid for your health and well being. So I would suggest to look into it deeper um, and maybe you can utilize those benefits. Well, this morning I went outside and I was doing some final up touches to the 94 Trans Am before I take that to the admissions process. And uh, so I got the exhaust wrapped up on that. I'm pretty happy with that. It's nice and way quieter than the open header video that I shared with Jerry. <laughs> oh, Jerry. That was a good video, though, I thought. Um, so that was couple last month here we are in October October 2nd and I hope your October is treating you well so far we had a couple good moon nights um, and that was pretty cool to see the good full moon and let it light up the night so this morning I go out and I get the uh, exhaust wrapped up on the Trans Am like I stated and I just happened to look at my jack I moved something and I look down, and lo and behold, there is a desert locust laying there. And I thought it was alive, but apparently it passed. But this thing is a freaking monster. Desert locust, guys. I'm going to try to pick. He just died, so was, he's still pretty pliable. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, shit. This guy is measuring three inches long. Three inch long. Look at that guy. Look at his evil. These things consume, consume a lot of crops. And right now the world is being devastated by these. <laughs> Look at him. Look at that, man. Wow. Three inches long. Could you imagine a thousand of those things flying around you? I can't. I don't want that. Um, but I'm going to keep them in here. Look at him. Look at that sucker, man. Huge. Three inches. Boom. Um, yeah. Desert locust. If they have, a, if we have an outbreak here in the states, our food security is going to be threatened. Okay. Right now, the whole world is trying to buy up all the crops because they have been affected by these things. Let alone all the shutdowns due to the pandemic we're having. Okay. And all the supply chain breakdowns and the way things are being moved around the planet. Um, so right now we've got 
the whole world trying to jockey for what was grown this year. There's not too much oversupply of things. You know, some things are frozen, some are dried. Um, but a lot of it gets processed into so many things. I mean, like, we have the luxury of walking into the store and looking at a shelf and picking and choosing what we think we need for that day, right? So, or what we think we want. Not necessarily need, but want. Okay, there's, the, there's a difference there. Um, so, spiritually speaking, we're not going to get what we want, but we might get what we need. There's songs about it, right? So, I don't know. Um, I hope these things don't come and start devouring our crops here in the States. Um, you know, there's shortages due for a reason so that we can like up our game on metals and things that we've had the overseas countries making for a long time. There's shortages on appliances because China really took over that market and the manufacturing and things of that nature. Um, so don't be surprised if here in the near future you go to get something and they're going, oh yeah, you'll get it a month from now if you're lucky, right? A lot of appliance, the big chain stores are saying that about appliances now. So, you know, back in the 40s and 50s, we were a main powerhouse. We were making fridges. GM was making fridges. Um, and then in the 70s with the gas crisis and things that came about. And the damn politicians <laughs> that decided... That, oh, we can get things cheaper over here, do that, and we're making money at it. It's all about the damn money, too. But, um, all right, that's it. Seven-minute video going on. Uh, I've rambled enough. If you have any input on the desert locusts um, and have seen them in your area, I can't believe I found that outside. Just one, and I hope there's not more of them. Um, I'm going to try to do a little winter garden, um, see what happens with some uh, some of the seeds I have. And uh, we'll keep you updated on that. So uh, this is the Daily Grind. Over and out. I'm glad you watched, uh, shared, liked, and subscribed. All right. Have a great day, folks. And stay vigilant.